Again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Iliholm brand, their dual lens camera endoscope, model P50. The uh, the whole tip with the cameras and the long um, uh, snake is IP68 waterproof, and that's good. You don't have to worry about it uh, getting damaged. It's one and a half meters at 30 minutes underwater. And this has a uh, nice 4.5 inch IPS screen and the IPS means that as you change the angle the screen doesn't dim so it's one of the better type of screens out there. Internally there's 3500 milliamp hours on here and it includes a 32 gigabyte TF card, instruction booklet, a USB A to micro USB cable for charging. This is not a data cable, uh, data does not come off the port on the bottom right there that's strictly for charging. You use this cable to charge and there's a little red LED that will come on and it'll extinguish when it is fully charged. The unit also comes with uh, two accessories. It's a powerful little magnet and a hook that allows you to grab things underwater or under your sink which is uh, really handy. To get the uh, card here, we'll show you how to do that. When you want to extract the videos or pictures, if you you want to take them off the unit, just use one of these little adapters and you can put the, the, um, the TF card in there and then download it to your computer. I'm going to show you how I did that. And I captured images and video on there and I'm going to show that. So the first thing I really liked about this, the way it looked, looks really high tech, has a good feel to it. But I really like that it has a power switch right here. And I'm talking about a good old fashioned power switch that goes on and off. And the reason that's important is because whenever I've used other ones that have a digital switch to turn it on, the battery gets depleted in about three or four months it won't turn on. So I really like that they put a mechanical power switch right there. I also like the fact that they have a dimmer control right on here really simple no menu to go to it's right on the actual controller right there and all the menu functions are on here the tf card goes right in place right there real simple you plug it in push it with your nail the other's indented so that you can get it out easier the snake hair as i mentioned is totally waterproof and uh, allow you to uh, put it in sinks and things like that the focal range of the front camera is 2 to 10 centimeters, so that's the range that this will work in terms of the focus, 2 to 10 centimeters. And the side camera is 2 to 6 centimeters, that's that side camera right there. So keep that in mind when you're trying to look at something, you're going to have to move it in and out to get focus, but that's totally normal. This produces nice video and nice pictures, and I'm going to show that uh, so that you could really look inside something on your engine and your sink. I looked at an Edison record player, I looked at my sink, and I looked at my furnace. So that uh, is really nice. Now this has eight little LEDs. A lot of the ones on the market only have six. So this is adequately bright. And again, there's that dimmer control right there. And uh, because it has auto exposure, you can really light up an area and really see um, clearly what's going on. Now there is a lot of different menu options on here that are pretty straightforward as you'd expect. So here I'm gonna install the TF card. It goes facing up right on the side of the unit like that. I'm gonna push it in with my thumbnail. Just like that, it'll make a little clicking sound. Let's go over some of the menu options right here. You see this picture, this button that looks like a, a camera. If you hit that button right there, it's taking a picture. And it says right there it's taking a picture. Now if you hold that button down for about two seconds, you start seeing a little timer right there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. And now it's recording video. And then you hit it again and it stops. It's just that simple. If you want to change the modes of the camera, so you hit the M button and it'll allow you to go to the different modes. So there, just change to just the front camera. I'm going to hit the mode button again. 
and now it changed to the side camera. I'm going to hit it again and now it went to both cameras together. That's how that works. And of course there's ways to play your video. You can go through that menu right there and you can see right there photo OK. Now it's letting me walk through the pictures that are on there. And if I hit it again I can go back and I can move down to video and hit OK and then I could play the video that is on there. So it allows you a lot of flexibility to look at what you looked at, what you recorded on there. It records in AVI and I'm going to show that video so that you see what it looks like, the quality and so forth. You also have a lot of things you can control the uh, resolution, the language, the brightness, the timestamp, whether, whether you want the time, the, also the setting of the time, the timestamp, and you have a formatting of the SD card if you have problems or you can reset the system the way it was and it has the storage that's available on that card so it's very simple to use and uh, these up and down arrows work quite nicely it has a good tactile feel to it and I like the orange color and the black and uh, it just has a nice feel to it so I wanted to take a look at the probe diameter so I'm going to take in my micrometer right here, show you how small it is. So it's coming up at about 8 millimeters, 7.97 millimeters. So that's nice and small. It's going to allow you to get into a lot of tight spots with this camera. So we're going to give this thing a try now and I'll show you how well it works. So here we're going to try it in a sink and because the head is waterproof and small. Should be able to get past this tiny opening and get down right into. Look at that. You can see. See all the buildup on the walls right there, that side view. So if you're looking for something that was way deep down inside there, I'm actually on the bottom of the U right there. So here we're going to look at the right hand side of the sink that has the cutting blades to shred food up. Let's take a look what we can see here. So you can see on the bottom there the side camera. See the cutting blades right there. There's a nice detail of the cutting blade right there. And then the front camera showing me the bottom of the holding section where the food goes. And you can see there's some food and some calcium in there. But there's a lot of detail and because you have two views you can really see a lot of detail. So if you had something wrong with it you'd be able to look and see what is wrong with the mechanism in there. So here I have a Edison record player and it's really hard to see any defects in the spring mechanism. So I'm going to uh, take a look inside. Got the light on really bright right here. And I'm able to go down in here. You can see the gear mechanism right there. spring mechanism. So that's the side on the bottom right there. And then the front one I get to go really close to the bottom to see something. And notice that I wanted to look at that piece of metal right there. So 
So that's pretty neat. You can really see the whole mechanism inside there. Now I'm in front of my furnace and I'm going to take this plate off. We're going to look at the burners inside. And I'm going to be using the mode with, with a single uh, front camera. And we're going to see what's going on inside my furnace. Let's take this out. You can see the condition right there of the heater that lights up the flame. And here we can see the flame sense. You can see that there is some brown and some oxidation on there. So I'm going to have to take that out and clean it. So on the micro SD card I put on my computer, you get the two files, you get the photo, and you get the video. Let's take a look at the properties of this. So it's 1280 by 720 and about uh, 6.4 megabits per second, 25 frames per second video and let's take a look at the picture photo is nineteen twenty by thousand and eighty seventy two dots per inch so after testing this product out, what do I think about the Ilhelm brand, their dual lens camera endoscope, bottle P50. This is a nice product. I like the fact that it has a real power switch. I don't have to worry about the batteries dying. The two cameras, the simple menu on here is really nice. It has a lot of brightness, has a simple control for brightness on there. Simple menu, not complicated, basic instructions, additional accessories on here, and a nice waterproof thin probe on here that you can really get into some really uh, tight areas. So I like this product. I'm going to give it a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to do video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.